the uh, present problem considered here is of uh, gate uh, 2007 and this problem is also a links answer type problem consisting of two parts and each part uh, is of two marks each and uh, it's coming under the area of uh, digital communication so first we'll uh, read out the problem here and then uh, give the solution to this problem an input to a six level quantizer has the priority density function fx as shown in the figure decision boundaries of the quantizer are chosen so as to maximize the entropy of the quantizer output it's given that uh, three consecutive decision boundaries are minus one zero and one and this is the probability density function given here. The values of A and B are, these probability density functions are to be determined. The values of A and B, there are four options here for probability density function and you have to see uh, which is the right option. Okay. The second part is assuming that the construction, reconstruction levels of quantizer are the midpoints of the decision boundaries the ratio of signal to quantization quantization wise power is as out of these four options so uh, we'll again uh, revisit this problem and try to see what uh, this problem is on it says that uh, this uh, six level quantizer for which uh, for which the probability density function is given here and uh, here decision boundaries are indicated here like here minus one this is one decision boundary minus one other is zero and third is one these are the decision boundaries for this uh, uh, problem and uh, fx is the priority density function given here and the values for this uh, a and b are given for this priority density function now it says that uh, to maximize the entropy uh, if the entropy is, uh, has to be maximum then uh, these uh, have to be equiprobable that means uh, the decision boundaries have to be equiprobable that is some very important point so anyway we proceed uh, uh, with the solution to this problem uh, this is uh, So this is solution to this problem. Uh, we see first part here. In the first part, we have determined the probability density function uh, for this uh, uh, problems. Then uh, we find out the area under the PDF curve. Uh, area under the PDF curve has to be must be unity that we are aware of. And what is the PDF curve here? and try to see this is a PDF curve here this area this area and this area will make the total area and that area has to be unity that we have to determine okay so this uh, we are determining this is 2a plus 4b plus 4b equals to 1 and uh, this could be simplified to 2a plus 8b equals to 1 this is the first equation for maximum entropy, three regions must be equiprobable. That means uh, this 2A should be equal to 4B, should be equal to 4B. And by solving these two equations, you get the values for A and B. These are called dependency functions. Straightforward. And so corresponds to option A. This is uh, straightforward. Now, uh, for the second part, uh, we have to find the signal to quantization noise ratio so we should know what is the signal power and then we'll determine the quantization noise power and then take the ratio of the two now since the signal is not analog and we have to determine the power we can determine the power by knowing the mean square value so uh, for the continuous uh, random variable that uh, mean square value 
is defined as integral from minus infinity to infinity and then x square rho x dx this is a probability density function and this is square x squared so by determining this integral you can determine the uh, mean square power or mean square value okay so in this case the mean square value uh, for the three regions uh, we can determine the regions are like uh, here you can see this is minus 5 to minus 1 minus 1 to 1 and 1 to 5 so these three regions so this is minus 1 minus 5 to minus 1 x square x dx plus minus 1 to 1 x square x dx 1 to 5 x square x dx now we substitute uh, uh, the values of uh, rho x the probability density function uh, which is given so x square b dx x square a dx and this so this is 1 is here 1 by 12 this is 1 by 6 1 by 12 so it, if you take integral just uh, simple uh, evaluation of these integrals applying the limits uh, here you get here 124 by 36 plus 2 by 18 plus 1 by 24 30 this uh, this comes to 7 and this is the mean square value so it will be volt square okay now this is uh, mean square value and if you want to determine the power and if we take uh, without uh, loss of generality the resistance value to be 1 this will be giving me the power so 7 volt square will be 7 watts if the resistance is 1 ohm okay now uh, step size uh, uh, we know uh, the step size is known uh, we can determine from VPP over L this given 5 minus minus 5 over 6 so we de determine the step size 5 by 3 and noise power is given in delta square by delta square by 12 step size whole square divided by 12 this comes 0.23 so we can determine signal to noise uh, uh, power signal to noise power that's 7.25 that's 28 so signal to noise uh, quantization noise is 28 and this corresponds to option D okay so we are able to solve this problem uh, this is a good variation to the problems which we have considered uh, on pulse modulation because this problem gives me uh, uh, a little variation in a sense that uh, uh, so far we have been considering the analog signals and the, here uh, the signal is uh, random and for random signals how uh, you can use the quantizer for pulse code modulation applications okay so that way it's a variation and it's a good problem thank you